Hey, what's up, guys? Stephen Lakes Gaming here, and this is my new series, How to Survive Free for All. And this is on bootleg. And I'm gonna admit, in the beginning of this, that this is one of those things when you're in the moment, you seem like you're getting kills in like every two seconds when you're fucking like dominating and beasting. And for some reason, when I went back and watched this bitch, I was like, holy shit, that was not as fast as I thought. Have you ever done that? You were like, like man, I just went fucking crazy. And then it turns out whenever you go back and watch it that really you didn't you didn't go that fucking crazy. Well, <laughs> this is how this was. And tell me why I everyone seems to actually look past the light machine guns and actually say that they like suck. But I actually find that the light machine guns are a lot better than every other gun. Like, but except for if you take a light machine gun into a close range battle with a goddamn submachine gun, you're gonna get fucked every time. But, or if you take a light machine gun into a battle with a goddamn assault rifle from a fucking mile away, you're hurt. But, if you are in medium range, you're just fucking laying back, keeping it cool, staying steady, you are gonna fucking rape. If it's medium range, you are, you're gonna dominate the game. But, Anyways, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about this commentary, so I'm just going to fucking win this shit. Alright, um, well, I've been thinking about doing a Let's Play on Skyrim, because I just got my hands on that. I have no idea what the game's about. The only thing I know is it has to do with dragons, and so it should be pretty fucking awesome, because I've never played the game, and if you've never played the game, or you, or if you have, you can comment on how fucking newbie I am, how shitty I am at this game, because I have no idea... Alright, anyways, how to survive. Let me get back into this. Alright, now this is a good place on bootleg that you can go because down this main hallway right here, they a lot of people, if they spawn in that back area where all those little, like, cement blocks are, they are probably going to run this way because down here is a high traffic area. Now, if you put a claymore in the back to where people in the back can't come to get you, then... They are hurt. You're going to start murking on them. They won't even know what's going to happen. And if you can control it like this did, like I heard the claymore go off, so you just turn around. But this guy fucking, I didn't know what to do. I was too under pressure. Now, let me tell you something about a Reaper. First time I've ever used a Reaper in this game or play right here. And you can notice because I'm so shitty at it. Like, I was, I was still learning the controls. Like, my friend told me he had to steer it. And I just like learned this. this is like the third or second Reaper I've had. So I am newbie. I'm still learning how to do stuff on it. So please don't dislike this video on how shitty I am at the Reaper. <laughs> anyway, on the Skyrim, I have no idea what Skyrim's about. So I'm probably going to be raging most of that fucking game. And oh shit, another thing is okay, my friend bought a yearbook and we're like. BF, we're like best friends forever, you know what I'm saying, Jill? And I'm always at his house. And he bought it, right? He bought his fucking yearbook. And when he brought it home, he's not even in it. He paid $17 and to buy a yearbook to see what, like, to have his picture in it. And to look at it and see what he was doing. He's not even in it. And when you go back in the index to see where everybody's at, his name doesn't even come up. He ain't even registered in the yearbook. How pissed would you be if you bought your yearbook and you were not in it? Now, back to the gameplay for a little bit here. Uh, right here, I start to slow down due to the fact that I just couldn't find anybody, really. But, um, I don't know. I was still a little shaken up because, like I said, I thought I was doing so good in the beginning. I got a 14 kill streak and... Now I'm just like, the nerves are hitting me, so I find, I start getting momentum whenever I find that guy just laying back there, but, I mean, that don't help much. The main, I feel like the main thing about free for all is you gotta keep a calm head no matter what, always check your back, and you gotta get momentum, so you gotta get kills, you gotta feel confident that you're gonna start fucking owning people. Now, another thing I recommend, if you haven't tried using the light machine gun as your primary often I I just wanna you should like go in there and try and use it because you will find that they're actually not that bad but I would not use the L86 because this is a shitty gun you need to use the MK the MK so that because that one's a lot better that one's like two shot one kill and 
It's actually pretty good long range too if you get grip and a red dot on there. And today, I don't know, but there's supposed to be a meteor shower today. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but I was been I was like looking outside like a little kid trying to find this bitch. I could not find it anywhere. It was I was like, damn, where's this bitch at? And the only thing I saw, like, I, I thought it was a meteor shower, and I was, like, fucking jumping up and down like a little schoolgirl bitch, but apparently no. But it was just an airplane, because I'm a fucking retard and get goddamn meteors mixed up with airplanes. Anyways, right here, I'm going hard. I do a quad figgy no scope, 360 off the tailpipe, game winning kill. That's right. Alright, so this game, I went 30 and 5. I know. 5 deaths, fuck me, I suck, right? But anyways, thanks for watching, subscribe, leave a like, takes two seconds, love your ass, bye.